Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Javier Romero and I'm going to explain you how to install the ANSA set solver Klingo in a Windows computer using Conda. For that, the first step is to go to this link conda.io We click at Miniconda. Miniconda is a free minimal installer for Conda, which is enough for using Klingo. And here we can choose the, to install it with the Python version 3.7 or 2.7. And we are both work with Klingo, but here we are going to choose the 3.7, which is what we recommend. The file is downloaded and we install it. We will choose the default options. And now it may take in my computer like a minute or so. So I will jump until I will jump to the moment where the installation is complete. Good, so then we can click next. And if you're interested, you can have a look at these links. We will not do it here. And now the Anaconda prompt should be reachable from here. in Windows and it may happen that it takes a while until it appears there but after a few seconds you will have it here and just click on it and this is the place from which we are going to work with Klingo. Let me increase the font so that you can see it well. I hope let's give it even a bit more. Okay, and the first thing we have to do is to install Klingo. And for that, we use the command conda. We tell it to install a package that will come from the channel Potasco. And the package is, of course, Klingo. We execute this command, and then conda is going to install the package Klingo from our channel Potasco and it will ask us to proceed and then we will click yes and in this afterwards it will download and extract and install all necessary packages for clean which in this case i think they are just two yes Good. So then we can see whether Clingo is installed correctly just by running it to, to telling it to print its version. And we see here that we have installed version 5.4.0, which is the last one that is available at the moment that I'm recording this video. And let's try it with an example. So let's make a directory, call it ASP. MKD is the command in this that we can use here to create a directory and change cd stands for change directory so that we go to asp cd asp is the same as if in the windows explorer you created you moved to the folder asp and mkd asp is the same as if in the windows explorer you created a folder named asp and in fact, we can copy this address here and just paste it there and we go to this folder, which at this moment has no files. Good. Then we want to create a new file with a logic program for Klingo. So we should use some editor in Windows. Normally you have the notepad that comes with it, but it's more handy, for example, to use this notepad plus plus. And of course, there are many editors around, so you can just choose the one you prefer. 
And let's write a very simple logic program where we say choose, you can choose to have A in the answer set. And we save it. Again, we can go, we can save it here in this directory that we just created, uses HPPC ASP in my case. And we give it a name, for example, example01.lp. And then we go back to the Anaconda prompt, and then we just say Klingo example01.lp, and with zero we tell Klingo to give us all answer sets of that program, which will be the empty one, the first one, and the one that contains A, the second one. Now, just for playing a bit more, we can add a rule that says that B is in the answer set if A is in the answer set, and we could save it, for example, as example02.lp. And now, if we run it, then we get that the second answer set is AB. Good. And I think this is all I wanted to explain you about installing and running Klingo in Windows using Conda. And I hope you have found this useful and that you enjoy Klingo. Ciao!